Hi guys, in this video we are going to be looking at how to solve linear equations. So we are on this series on equation and this is the first topic, linear equation. So the method we are going to use in solving linear equation is called balance method. Okay, this method states that whatever you do to the left side of the equation, you do the same to the right side. Okay, in the process of solving an equation, what we are trying to do is find the value of the alphabet find the value of the variable okay because the alphabet is also called the variable okay so when you are doing that you want to ensure that that alphabet is found on one side either the left side or the right side of the equation for us to achieve that every other item must be moved to the other side and for us to do that we are going to employ balance method in achieving that target. So in this example, we are told to solve the following equations using balance method. Okay, so let's look at the equation. The first one says 3x plus 4 is equal to 25. Let's confirm if this is an equation. 3x plus 4 is the left side of the equation, 25 is the right side of the equation, and between them there is an equal to sign. So this qualifies to be an equation. Also noting that it has an alphabet x. The solution to that equation is finding the value of x that makes the left side equal to the right side. So let's solve it together using balance method. Solution A, we have 3x plus 4 is equal to 25. For us to get the value of x, there are two numbers that we have to move to the right side. These numbers are unwanted on the left side. The first number is plus 4. Always remember to join the number to the sign in front of it. The first number to be moved to the right is plus 4. And the second number is plus 3. There is no plus here because it is the first number in the algebra. Okay, so we have plus 3 and plus 4. So using balance method, the first number we are going to move to the right side is plus 4. For us to move plus 4, for us to cancel out plus 4 on the left side, we have to introduce the opposite of plus 4. The opposite of plus 4 is minus 4. Using balance method, we stated that whatever we do to the left side, we do the same thing to the right side. So if we are going to introduce minus 4 to the left, this means we are also going to introduce minus 4 to the right. This is what is called balance method. Whatever you do to the left, you do the same to the right so that the equation will remain balanced. So this will be 3x plus 4 minus 4 is equal to 25 minus 4. So we introduce minus 4 to the left in order to cancel out plus 4. Therefore, we must also introduce minus 4 to the right. So plus 4, we cancel out minus 4. We have 3x is equal to 25 minus 4 is going to give us 21. So we have succeeded in eliminating plus 4. What is left for us to eliminate is 3. But the next thing we need to ask ourselves is, how do we eliminate plus 3? We need to expand 3x. 3x is the same thing as 3 multiplied by x. So what is joining 3 to x is a multiplication sign. So in order to cancel out 3, we are going to introduce the opposite of multiply by 3. The opposite of multiplication is division. So to cancel out multiply by 3, we are going to introduce divided by 3. This means we are going to divide both sides by 3. Okay? So this means... 3x all over 3 is equal to 21 all over 3. So at this point, 3 divided by 3, we cancel out. We are going to be left with x is equal to 21 divided by 3 is going to give us 7. This means that the value of x that makes the left side equal to the right side is equal to 7. Let's confirm that. If we replace this x we have here with 7, 3 multiplied by 7 is going to give us 21. 
21 plus 4 is going to give us 25. So the left side is equal to the right side. Very simple. Let's look at the second example, B. We have 10 minus 2x is equal to minus 10. So we want to find the value of x. In order to do this, what are the numbers we need to eliminate from this equation? The first number is plus 10. Remember, there is an invisible plus sign here. So we are eliminating plus 10. And we are also expected to eliminate 2, no, minus 2. Okay? So we are to eliminate plus 10 and minus 2. So the first person we are going to eliminate is the person farthest from x. 2 is closest to x. So we start with what is far away and then we come closer. To eliminate plus x, we need to introduce minus x to both sides. So subtract 10 from both sides. Okay, so this is going to be 10 minus 10 minus 2x is equal to minus 10 minus 10. Okay, so 10 is going to cancel out 10. We have minus 2x is equal to minus 10 minus 10. You are owing 10 naira and you went back to get 10 naira. How much are you owing now? You are owing 20 naira. So minus 20. Okay, minus 10 minus 10. So we are done with eliminating plus 10. The next value to eliminate is minus 2. And minus 2 is attached to x by an invisible multiplication sign. To cancel out minus 2, we have to divide both sides by minus 2. Okay, so that x will be left alone on the left side. So divide both sides by minus 2. So this will be minus 2x divided by minus 2 is equal to minus 20 divided by minus 2. So minus 2 is going to cancel out minus 2. We have x is equal to minus divided by minus is going to give us plus. When the two signs are the same, our answer is going to be positive. Next is 20 divided by 2 is going to give us 10. So since it is a positive, we don't need to write it down. Okay? So let's check if our answer is correct. We have 10 minus 2x. And we are told that x is 10. So if we do 2 multiplied by 10, it's going to give us 20. So if we have 10 minus 20, our answer is going to be minus 10. Very simple. If you understood the topic, I'd like you to solve this classwork. Classwork. Find the value of y in 3y minus 4 is equal to 11. I'd like to see your answer to this question in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more mass content. See you in the next video. Bye.